Hey guys, how are you guys are doing today? I hope you guys are all doing great. Uh, so I'm once again with you guys with a new tutorial, Shopify tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how you can add meta field on your collection page. So I have created multiple videos on how you can add meta field on your product page. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can add it on your collection page. The reason why I'm creating this video is that the method is a little different and the code is not same as we do it in the product page. So if you want to learn, stick to the video. Don't forget to subscribe the channel, right? I'm your host, Bilal Nasir. So without further ado, let's get into our screen. So guys, that's how the collection page looks like originally without having the field. That's our single product page. After implementing this tutorial, you'll be able to display the custom field like this on, on your collection page. And on single product page, it will look like this. Okay, now let's start coding. Let's first go to the back end of your Shopify store and create a meta field for adding, for displaying it on collection page and on single product page. Click on settings. Then scroll down to meta fields. Here, we will click on products as we are creating a product meta field and then click on add definition. Now I'm gonna name my custom field, my meta field, which I'm creating. So I'm naming it fabric. And from select type, I'm gonna select single line text. And then click on save. Once the meta field is created, now we'll add this on our collection page. Now let's open up uh, the back end of our store on a new tab. Click on online store. Then from these three small dots, click on edit code. Before editing the code, please create a duplicate of your theme. So if you uh, do any mistake on the code, you can easily revert it back. Okay. Now from code editor, I'm going to search card-product.liquid file. So when you search this file, from this search box, you should be able to see that product file. In this file, we will add our meta field. Now, in order to place a meta field below the pricing on this product card, I'm going to search for price. So that's the line which you need to find, which is render price. And now we'll add a line break and add our custom field. So that's a custom field. Copy it from here. And then paste it to our liquid file within curly braces. Okay, after adding this meta field, I'm going to hit save. And then go to the back end of this product, which is female t shirt. Let's open up a new tab for that. And now let's find our product called female t-shirt. So that's the product where we need to update the value of the meta field, which we added. Now, if I scroll down to the bottom, you can see that the meta fields, which we, which we have in meta field section are showing up here. We need to fill up fabric. 
Now let's add 100% cotton as a value of this meta field. Once the value is added, click on save. And now when I go to my collection page, hit refresh. You can see that our meta field value is not showing up. The reason behind that is when you are displaying the meta field on your collection page, you'll have to add extra keyword, which is card. So when you paste the value, just add in card before the meta field. So card underscore and then the meta field, which you copied from here. Now, after adding it within curly bracket, within curly brackets, click on save. And now when I go to my collection page and hit refresh, you can see that the value of custom meta field, which we added is showing up. Okay. Now let's give it a title. Let's add fabric. Make it a little highlighted by adding strong. Now click save. And hit refresh on the collection page. Now you can see that all of the products are showing up that fabric, the static value, which we added, which we don't want. We only want to display fabric where there is a meta field value. So in order to prevent this, what we're going to do, we'll add an if condition. So if card underscore product dot meta fields custom dot fabric is not equal to blank display this otherwise don't do anything and if right so it will display this meta field value and this title which we added only if our custom meta field is not blank so that's the condition which i have added now hit save And now let's go to our collection page and hit refresh. And now you can see that it's displaying up only where we have added the value. Now let's try adding the value on another product. Uh, let's add it on this product, t-shirt round neck. So I'm gonna go to this product, click on products, and then t-shirt round neck. I'm going to add value on this product as well. 20%, 100% polyester. It's safe. Now after adding the value on this meta field, I'm going to go to my collection page and hit refresh. As you can see, our meta field which we added is working completely fine. Now we have added this field on collection page. Now we will add the same meta field on our product page, which is the easier method. Now, in order to add this field on our single product page, I'm going to go to customize from online store. So click on online store and then click on customize here. And from customize, search the product. So that's uh, that's uh, the default product on template, which uh, where we will add the meta field. Click on that. Now let's add in the fabric value below the pricing. I'm going to take a block. Let's take a text block.
add in fabric. You can also take a custom liquid. Let's take a custom liquid field because we only want to display it when there is a value on the meta field. I take a new block called custom.liquid. Now I'm going to copy the same code which we added here on our collection page, starting from M, S, ending with S. Now after adding this, it will not display because we have this card underscore. We'll have to remove this card underscore because we are adding this on single product page. Okay, it's not showing up on this product because there is no field value. Now we'll search for uh, the product neck. Oops. Now, as you can see here, a meta field value is showing up. Now let's move it below pricing, drag and drop. There we go. A meta field value is showing up on single product page as well. And uh, now let's go back to our collection page and test it out. So these products have meta field value and this one does not have the value. As you can see, it's showing up on this product. And when I go to this product, it doesn't show anything. Cool, right? So that's it for the tutorial guys. I hope you guys uh, were able to learn something from this tutorial. If you wanna learn more, comment me. Uh, let me know in the comments below that what you would like to learn in the Shopify. I will definitely try to create more tutorials for you guys. This tutorial is is for uh, Dawn theme specifically. If you're, use, if you're using them this on any other theme, mention it on uh, the comments and I'll definitely try to help you guys. Until next video, have a great day.